So I've been sitting here watching the engine temperature, the coolant temperature. It's around the same numbers as I had before with the uh, two fans in the car when I had the mechanical and the auxiliary fan. Now with the one electrical fan, it's about the same numbers. I'm not overheating. It's even though it's December, it's still 50 degrees. It's a 50 degree day, which is slightly warm for December in New York. But uh, my coolant temperature is about the same as before doing the fan delete modification and uh, the car is much quieter you could listen um, when you accelerate you only hear the engine you don't hear anything else but the engine the issue with the older fans the auxiliary fan the fan that goes in front of the radiator uh, that you see through the kidney grills that fan whenever it failed it sounded like a UPS truck it sounded like a really really loud uh, mechanical fan and to delete that, you get rid of that issue of having that fan fail. The mechanical fan, the engine fan that was attached to the water pump, that's a quiet fan. It was never loud in my car. I think some people complain that that fan is a loud fan. But when that fan fails, and that fan tends to fail, especially if the water pump is on its way out, that fan could destroy your engine bay because what happens, the fan breaks apart inside your engine bay while it's spinning, and it sends shards of fan blades all throughout your engine. So let's go... Um, Look under the hood real quick. It's really nice out here. And see there? Completely quiet. Uh, this electrical fan only comes on when uh, the it, when the car tells it, so it's not going to be on all the time. Which is which is cool. Which is what you want. You don't want extra load in the engine while you're driving. Uh, I've been driving with it now because I originally put this fan in about two weeks ago three weeks ago and I just had to take it back out and put it back in for some other stuff and uh, with, in the three weeks of driving with this fan I found the car is driving much smoother than before and uh, my steering for some reason in this car is lighter it's much easier to steer especially when you go on at high speeds on curvy roads it's much more fun fun a uh, fun feeling when you drive it and steer in the car one thing when putting in the electric fan, actually that sound behind me, that's a truck. That's what the auxiliary fan sounded like when it was failing. So one thing when you put the electric fan in, just be careful of the wiring because the wiring on the new electric fan seems to be cheap, cheap quality wiring. So just be careful that nothing's, um, nothing comes loose when you're attaching the wires to, uh, to the car from the fan. So just keep your eye on that. But as you see the fan, I can't even tell when it's on or not, but <laughs> it's this quiet. So all you hear is the engine. And uh, that is my fan delete mod. So, close my hood. My kidney grills are loose, but I'll show you guys one thing with the fan delete out. So when you look into the kidney grills, you don't see a fan there anymore. You just see the, um, the the support for the radiator support bars. And that's sort of a cool look. If you ever, like I said in my previous video, if you ever saw like the older BMWs from 2000, the early 2000, late 1990s era, you would see a fan behind this grill. Um, the fan delete gets rid of that fan and all the modern BMWs don't have the fan there anymore. It'll, modern, modern, Modern day BMWs only have one electric fan inside the car. And, and that's it. I expect to see better MPGs and a little better um, performance. My acceleration with the fan delete has, has actually been back in the car. My acceleration has actually been better since I did the fan delete. Uh, it feels better. I don't know if it's a mental feeling or if it's a physical something that's actually different with the car, but the car is way more fun to drive. Uh, with the fan there and with the electric fan in the two fans out it feels lighter it feels much more fun and I totally recommend doing the modification if you have a uh, automatic transmission car manual cars already have the one electric fan they don't come with two fans but if you have a uh, automatic transmission car definitely do the fan delete mod especially if your car is older reaching up in the years like these cars are now like 10 to 13 years old I highly recommend just getting rid of the getting rid of the electric getting rid of the mechanical and auxiliary fan if you could and uh, you know and put in that one electric fan let me turn it off burning gas another thing too when you 
buy the electric fan, it's usually around $200 to $250. You could pretty much, if your old fans are still good, like in my car, my old fans were still good. I sold my old fans. I sold them for about $200, $200 for the pair of them. I sold them off. So the price of selling the old fans could sort of offset the cost of the one electric fan. So just keep that in mind. Uh, and, and that's it until my next, uh, my next project, which... Probably, I don't know what I'm going to do next in the car, but uh, that's it. <laughs> Bye.